I'm back out here again another day another unit this one here I think it's gonna be all furniture so there might not be a whole lot to show unless we get to the back and there's some boxes but um, it's a 10 by 20 340 bucks so pretty good deal on this one furniture looks pretty nice this facility here I don't bid on a whole lot here because most of the units here are pretty rough I used to come to this auction when it was live and they would usually have when it was live they would have like 20 to 25 units and most of the time you know probably 20 of them out of 25 would be just horrible and then four or five of them would be maybe halfway decent maybe sometimes see one good one but this one i think is gonna be pretty good and we got a surprise guest no ann no leah but if you've been watching for a long time you'll remember this guy we got keith keith's back to help me with this one if you're new you're probably like who's keith never even heard of keith but <laughs> oh god I just about cut my finger on the bottom of this door on this jagged paint here but as you can see lots of furniture it looks like it's been in here for a little while look at that dust man it's really thick dust i mean my gosh look at that but one two three four five six nice here i mean they look really nice and i can and there's a little bit of wrap around everything in there two tvs I mean, really, this this is a unit that it doesn't look anything like the majority of the units that you see at this location here. But um, yeah, there's a TV there, a TV there, some kind of bottom, probably the uh, base for the table that hold that for these um, chairs that probably holds the tabletop. There's a mirror. Looks like for, you know, goes on a dresser for a mirror. This is, looks like one of those rolling, like ottomans. And then once you're back there, um, looks like some kind of sofa or couch or something, mattress chairs everything now we might get past right there and then it might be a whole big block of boxes but there might not be any at all right now i can't see a box anywhere in sight from right here okay. looks like the posts for a bed yep there are um yeah it looks like four posts for a bed four posts for bed probably well the color that color doesn't really look the same as that that's darker right there so there might be multiple bedroom sets in here and that's like the top of a something i mean almost looks like a big grandfather clock but i don't think it is it's too wide i mean it could be but hmm. the top of that's like some kind of Shelf ornate or piece of furniture maybe a curio cabinet or something whatever that thing is there is huge yeah that might i don't know if that's a china cabinet or what looks like there might be some big furniture once we get in there <laughs> and i don't know if we're going to fit all of it on here but if not it's not a big deal because i got to come back in this direction tomorrow i got another unit to get tomorrow the one i'm going to go get tomorrow will be well looks like it's gonna be a lot more fun it's just a wall of boxes this is literally this one you can't see a box and it's all furniture the other unit i'm gonna get tomorrow it's all boxes that's all you can see and you can't see any furniture but it may be all furniture behind the boxes and this one could turn out interesting behind there who knows but we're about to find out we're gonna start loading this thing up we'll see what we can find we moved a few things out and as you can see it looks like a pretty nice um, living room set it's just really dirty the part that's exposed so hopefully we can clean this up now we are I can see a little bit back there now I, I do see a box right there so there's at least a box and that's kind of nasty though there's a whole bunch of rat droppings right there so hopefully they didn't tear anything up maybe they just paid a visit and crawled on top of a few things which we can wipe all this off all right been getting all the all the um couch pieces that looks like a big section well, there's two more pieces there a huge tv it looks like they put a um oops european cord on it so i don't know if they were from europe or or what or from yeah i don't know probably other countries besides europe use that i'm not really sure so hopefully we're gonna be able to make that work. But it's a Sony, how big is that thing? 70 inch. That is a clock. 70 inch TV. Oh, Keith says this is a clock. He must have looked. Stander EG14, is that the, the model number? So, clock, and there is a few boxes right here. But we're almost, we're gonna move this 
and put that on and then we'll be able to move this big mattress and see well i don't know if there's gonna be a big a giant china cabinet going all the way to the ground there or what and then we'll kind of get a better feel for what the the back half of this is going to look like all right we got the mattress moved now and this is one massive piece of furniture whatever it is it's two pieces i mean i'm assuming it's a china cabinet it's all wrapped up so i don't really know for sure but um it is massive but it looks like it's in really good shape the little bit that i can see i mean obviously it could be busted all to pieces in there for all we know but then these two big boxes here they just say fragile oh you know what this is weird there was another unit that i was bidding on um that had these same boxes in it these corning but i'm trying to remember if it was here or not i thought it was a different place maybe it was here i don't know but these big boxes that said corning and that had this picture of this bottle or whatever it is okay here it is a roller bottle yep so apparently yeah they had multiple units but it could have been a different sometimes people will have them at different locations because there were several of these secure care facilities like there's three of them within about all five minutes apart in this area that all had their auctions running and it could have been at one of those two i'm not sure but so hopefully we're not missing any important pieces but it looks like all of the um sectional is all here and we got the here's another base so hopefully we have the tabletop and then most likely i'm thinking this is the um china cabinet that matches up with that would be my best guess and actually i can see right here the same design here on the edge so these do match so all we need is the tabletop to make this complete i see a headboard back there all right so now we got some heavy lifting to do to get this thing off Smashed into that wall yeah. for a second. I wasn't as heavy as I thought. All right, we got these two big boxes. Say fragile, but looks like a rat's nest. All right, underneath there's a bunch of blankets and stuff on the top. Looks like a lot of glasses, maybe. See if that's what it is. All right. So, some sort of fancy glass here. There's a bubble in. I don't see any kind of a name on it. like the whole bottom is just full of glassware it looks like oh, here's not, oh this is gonna be some kind of crystal this is um borwit crystal see them there borwit crystal there may be more there's a bunch of looks like about this size um things wrapped up in the bottom there okay hold, hold off on that one right there like okay. we're probably gonna put it right here but i want to wait until we get some so it's not in our way it makes it kind of hard to get by all right i'm gonna unwrap one more thing out of that box and then we'll move on another another glass it's another one of the borwitz crystal glasses here so maybe a whole big set going up with it yeah all right here's the clock keith's got the clock here's a real quick view real nice pretty face on it and everything we're going to leave this on here so we won't be able to see down in the bottom hopefully the finials there and all the the um chimes and weights or anything like that that it may have all right here's the other box same big recording box that says fragile and this it looks like it's going to maybe a lot of the same look at that tons of like what looks like glasses. I wonder if there may be something different on the bottom, but at least here on the top. Oh, this is actually a, a stein. 
Veliko Tarnova, Bulgaria, but it does have a chip in it there. And then, I don't know if it's going to be more crystal or what. This looks kind of a regular glass. No, this actually says uh, 91st Military Police Battalion Dining Out, September 2010, Honor Above All. There's just various glasses, it appears, and a whole bunch of them. Now this looks nice. This is some kind of crystal, I believe. Oh, this is block crystal. So, looks like there's gonna be quite, maybe several different sets of crystal in here, because look at all this. See how many different glasses are all wrapped up in here? Tons of them. We'll have to unwrap all these later. But this is definitely a very uncharacteristic unit for this location. And that some of the, the big nice furniture in here and I mean it's just it's glassware but all the crystal. But like I said, there was another unit, and it, I think the other unit had more of the small stuff because I remember looking there was lots of boxes, but there was lots of these corning boxes. Going back toward the back, looks like more furniture. There is a Sony box there. I'm thinking maybe a TV. Not sure, but look at this big, whatever this is. I don't know exactly what it is, but look at this stone. Is that stone? No, it's metal. It's like, it's like thin metal over the top here on, on those two pieces. I'm thinking that that piece right there goes on top of this somehow, makes a big, maybe a big bar, maybe is what it's supposed to be. We do have, there is three stools that the wood looks similar to that. And then here's two more chairs that match the six that we've already um, put on the truck. Four. No, we put six oh, at the beginning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because remember I counted six right when we opened the door. Yeah, you're right. So that's eight. We just we just need the tabletop to make it set. So hopefully the tabletop is in this unit and not in another one. Because we got all the chairs, we got the table bases, and we got the china cabinet. And now we're getting into... Here's the headboard, the one that has the, the, all the four posters, and then we've got, what's going on there? That's just like sawdust, on there loose sawdust, but on the nightstands here. And more furniture, unfortunately looks like more mattresses or another mattress back there. But yeah, whoever got the, um, the unit that had all their small stuff in, it's probably gonna turn out real good for them because the furniture's nice, this little bit of stuff's nice. So I'm sure there's a lot of nice um, smalls. Oh, Keith just realized when we first got in the unit, this was laying on the ground here. And that will convert the TV to our plug here. So that's good. So then we can actually test that TV to see if it can work without having to go buy one of them or wait until we find one. But moving more stuff out now. And this is a big bar. Because look, here's all the your glass holders there. I don't know how well you can see through that, but those hold all the glasses. And then you got this big metal top here. And then you got these wood shelves going there on each side. So those are open with a wood shelf. Oh, there's stuff in here. We didn't even look in here. I mean, it's like some books or something, but stories from my grandmother's kitchen. So service fanatics, healthcare. There's paparazzi, you know, when they sell the jewelry work rules and then we got some um printing paper and more books and not much just a, a few books i wonder if there's a key somewhere for that all right we got the bar we spun the bar around look how nice this thing is on the front here and that does not go on the top okay this is the bar and then you would have it has three bar stools that match this so this would go behind the bar like you'd put this against the wall then you have some space here this here and then you have your bar stools and this would hold all of your glasses and drinks and everything it's got little drawers i think they're empty it's got cabinets on the bottom the whole setup here very very nice 
I thought that set up on top of there, but this mm -hmm. makes a lot more a lot more sense now. Mm -hmm. All right, moving toward the back here, more furniture. There's a couple boxes here. I thought when I was looking from back that way that this was a TV, but it says home audio system. I'll just sold this in, so I thought it was going to go that way more and be a TV. This says um, frame photos awards DVD. So we'll take a look in this and we'll see what that is. And that might be all the boxes, but maybe not. Hard to tell. But another looks like like more bedroom pieces here, there, 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 there. <clears throat> Hopefully the tabletop's back there, but there's mattresses. Some That's an, a lighter color similar to this. <clears throat> but we're about to run out of room on the, on the truck for today. All right, right here on the top, I think this is gonna be like a trophy. Yeah, a little trophy there. So, with all the trophies on the top, it's going to be hard to, hard to get down there. Another trophy. Yeah, the last name on here is definitely a foreign name. Weiss Baden. So I don't know, if, is that European or, or what? But it looks like all trophies here on the top. Looks like all the way down the bottom, I can see a cord that says probably a DVD player because it said DVD on it. But yeah, more trophies. All right, so we'll hold off on that for now. Now let's see, is this what, okay, here it is. It, at least what was originally in the box. Big um, Sony speaker. But I don't know if that's what's in here. The plane, if you're wondering what that was, I don't know how it was loud here. I don't know how loud it is on the camera, but that was a. It sounded like it was right above. It was a plane. <laughs> flew right over us landing. Whoa! It's another one. Man, too bad I couldn't get that. It was like a big bomber. Look like a big bomber coming right over us. But there's an Air Force base was that way. Low? Yeah, it was real low, but it was right in the clouds. It was kind of cool looking. Huh. Wonder if another one's gonna come. I mean, it was really low, but it was like just right there in the clouds, but there's really low clouds right now. All right, this right here, it's, it is that speaker. It's the Sony speaker. Kind of looks, you know, like a, kind of like a party speaker. Yeah, party apps, home audio system. I don't hear another one coming, so that might have been it for now. But I mean, it looked like it wasn't that far over those trees there. Wow. But it was really cool looking the way it was in the... Did you get it onto the camera? No, nah, because the camera was facing this way, and I didn't... I looked up, and it was right over us. I didn't know how, clo how close it was, the first one. Yeah, you couldn't hear them coming, really. Oh, yeah. All right, we're finishing up for right now. The tabletop is back here. It's all the way in the corner, wrapped up right there. So it is a full dining set big table with eight chairs and a china cabinet back here in the back we got some mattresses and box springs but i think behind here is another bed frame oh here we go probably can't see that at all but it's a big one of those like leather tufted headboards so it looks like two bedroom sets there's the bar, the big bar set, sectional, big dining set, possibly more once, you know, once we kind of piece it all up, but that's the main furniture is, is some big pieces. So, so each one of those is, um, some big, big money items there. So good unit overall, but as you can see here, we're, we're just about full because everything, everything in there is too big to really squeeze in at this point. But we're going to come back here tomorrow, we'll throw this on, and then we'll head on over to get the unit that has all the boxes. Alright, we just fast forwarded to the next day. Keith met me over at the store this morning, we unloaded all that stuff. Ian was there also. 
But I had to get rid of Keith and look who's back, Ann's back. So we got to finish off this last little bit of stuff in this one here. Throw this stuff on there. And then we'll be driving out to Shambly to get a unit that hopefully is going to be a lot more interesting um, as far as showing on here. This was a really good unit because there's some really um, nice furniture in here. It'll it'll make some it makes some money, that's for sure. But the um, other one looks like it's going to be pretty much all boxes. Like I told Ann, I was like, hopefully we don't move that first layer of boxes and then it's all furniture because I got plenty of furniture out of this one to this one. So I kind of need some boxes now for the next week. All right, we went through those couple boxes that had all the glass in it. Um, let's see what we got. A big old set of crystal right here. These are all crystal, pretty nice. These are crystal. And as far as the name, this name, I tried to pull up, nothing at all would come up. Borwit, literally I couldn't find a single thing. This is a, uh, it just says handmade crystal, genuine handmade crystal. This is crystal glass made in Germany. Um, I don't know how you pronounce this. Not man. Got a couple pieces of real nice vase there. Some decanters. Capri crystal. And the tumblers here. Um, is that Capri? Yeah, Capri crystal also. Let's see what else. Several of these. Beer glasses, Berlin, Sandwald, and then these like um, military police little ones right here. A couple of these right here. Lead crystal, bleak crystal, Bly crystal made in Germany. So lots of crystal glass. There's a little Eiffel Tower thing there. So oh, this is Ann, that's Ann's beer mug. Let me move it out of the way. She already drank it all today. So. I don't want a Texas margarita. So can't have to oh, yeah, she said that this is for a Texas margarita there. See how big that thing is? All right, this unit here with all the furniture, this one's gonna be a really good unit because I only paid $340. We had the two big boxes, it had a lot of crystal and stuff in it. That, I mean, it does all right, nothing great, but better than Better than garbage, better than it just being, you know, regular glass. The crystal does do a little bit better in the auction. And also, okay, there was another box. There was two boxes with all the crystal and different glasses. One box had trophies in it and then like awards, like plaques with awards on them. And what did the other box have? Oh, and then the other one is the Sony speaker. And the box was Sony speaker and that's what was actually in there. And then as far as all of the um, furniture, you see it kind of sitting around all right here. I can't get it all out right now. It takes a minute to get this stuff out. It's This is big stuff with multiple pieces and it needs to be cleaned off. And we got to kind of make room out there. I've taken one thing out I'm going to show you here in a second. No, two things out. I'll show you that. But like I said, $340 and we've got big nice dining set with eight chairs and a china cabinet. Two bedroom sets and the both bedroom sets have the bed, dressers, chest of drawers, multiple pieces, a big sectional um what else is it oh the grandfather clock i'll show you that in a minute it's out there I'll, i put 50 bucks on it because it's missing the key it's missing the weights it's got a little bit of damage to it um i'm thinking the key and the weights and stuff were in the other unit that i saw online that i know is the same person's stuff because it had those same corningware boxes and then what else is back here i think that's it but two big nice bedroom sets so both of those bedroom sets are going to be at least $340 each, the price of the unit. And then the sectional is at least $340. Sectional is probably going to be $500 plus. Um, the dining set's probably going to be about $500, give or take. Probably about $500 just based off of, you know, what I can see. Maybe a hair more. Oh, and then we've got these two TVs here and then the big TV that I've already put out. So... Just say 50 bucks each, there's a hundred dollars. So it's a money making unit, not a whole lot to go through, but it is gonna you know take some time and energy because we gotta get all this stuff out there, get it set up, cleaned off and everything. And then some of it will take a little while to sell. But let's walk out this way right now. Stop. Do not go over there. Or he's gonna get you. It's all right. <laughs> Stop. Don't go all right, yeah, so here's the clock. Really nice clock, but it's missing all the weights. 
No key, no key to open this. That little trim piece that came off, I actually just found it a minute ago, so it can come out here and be reattached. But 50 bucks just to get that thing out of here. Okay, well, come on. And then, here's the big TV. It's a big Sony, but it is a plasma, so it's an older TV. But when it comes on, I mean, it's got a really nice picture, no damage or anything. No remote. It's got the legs. We just got to find some screws to put in there. About 100 bucks, just because it's such a big TV. So that thing will probably sell pretty quick. TVs always do, even those old plasmas. And then here's the bar all set up. I mean, this thing's really, really nice. Just put it out, 500 bucks. So 500 bucks, I mean, that's a deal. If whoever ends up buying that, you know that's a deal because it's all wood and all those pieces. If you bought something like that with all those pieces, I mean, it would be, you know, at least two grand if you went to a, a store that sells that kind of stuff, like a rec store or something. But that's pretty much it. That was an that was an easy unit as far as you know going through because it was almost all furniture. So that one there, 90% furniture, and then we went and picked up another unit right after that actually the same day we got the second load we're going through that now too so there'll be a video coming out about that unit which it was pretty much probably 99.9% .9 boxes the next one there was one little side table in it and other than that it was just it was no furniture boxes and everything but so that one turned out good like i said once again 340 dollars and you know probably a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff once it's all said and done but it's big furniture and everything so it takes a little bit of time to sell all that and some of it has to kind of sit back here for the time being but tomorrow i do have some more room i will be able to get something else out probably going to try to put one of the bedroom sets out to try to get another chunk out and um start going from there it'll probably it'll be more it'll probably be probably somewhere between two and three thousand once it's all sold so but that's it for this one. If you like this video and you want to watch future videos that, um, you know, with a few more boxes and a few more interesting things, we get those all the time too. Hit that subscribe button. If you got a question, you got a comment, you got a complaint, you know, you want to put a complaint in the um, suggestion box, then go down to the comment section, leave a comment, good, bad, ugly. And if you like the video, just give us that thumbs up. Y'all have a good one.